line for some serious barn burners, especially in recent years. John, the last six times they've met, they've, they've averaged scoring 70 points a game between them. So you had a feeling that today uh, wouldn't be a single-digit game. Dan Marino absolutely loves these games. 31 touchdown passes in his 10 games against the Jets. And as Chris said, this one was like a Cubs game at Wrigley Field. It would never be over, and wind had nothing to do with it. Although threatening skies over top of Joe Robbie Stadium, Dan Marino goes to the aerial attack early. Troy Stratford, watch the reception, hangs on, then gets up and wants to get some more. But take a look at it on the replay. Tips it, keeps his eye on it, grabs it with one hand, and pulls it in. That would set up Marino's eight-yard touchdown pass to Farrell Edmonds. He's a big tight end with wide receiver speed. 7-3 Dolphins, second quarter. Marino laterals to Jensen, who hits Farrell Edmonds again into the end zone. 13-3 Miami with the lead. Dolphins looking to add a field goal, but Tommy, this one would not come easily. Paul Frazee gets through and gets the block. George Radikowski grabs the football. Rambles 75 yards for a touchdown. That's the first time that's happened in Miami in 10 years. I thought for sure you'd give me a rumbling and stumbling on that one. 13 to 10 Miami. But at the end of the half, Don Shula says, hey, let's go for it. Time is running out. The Hail Mary. Marino just lets it fly. Andre Brown almost has it. And he tips it right into the hands of Fred Banks for the touchdown, 19 to 12. Dolphins have the lead. But O'Brien goes to work. 38 yards to Al Toon. And Toon with a good move. Takes it to the end zone. 23-19 Miami's lead. Fourth quarter, O'Brien. 23 yards to Johnny Hector out of the backfield. The Jets are still down, but it's only 30 to 26, and Ken O'Brien is putting together a pretty good day. Later on, O'Brien would keep connecting with his favorite receiver, Al Toon. This one would set up the game time touchdown, and Toon hauls it in at the one yard line. Dolphins then will start to move, but Dan Marino gets into some trouble. Intercepted by Hasty steps in front of this one and runs it down the sidelines before he's knocked out of bounds. It sets up O'Brien with a chance to win the game. Looking for Johnny Hector again, who is wide open. 40-33. to 33. The Jets have the lead. One last chance, just like at the end of the half. It's a Hail Mary. But this time, the rosary was empty. No one to answer this charge. The Jets win it 40-33. to 33. And the Jets score touchdowns on all four second-half possessions. Mark Clayton dropping four passes, including two in the final 20 seconds of the game.